Hey, what's up guys, Steve from Cult of Mac here, and Apple's latest update for developers, iOS 11.3 Beta 1 is now available, so in this video I'm going to give you a quick tour of what's new. Let's get started. Okay, so here is my iPhone 10 now running iOS 11.3 Beta 1, and I quickly want to run through some of the visual changes I've come across first. I've seen people reporting that the Bluetooth icon within the control center has disappeared, but for me it's still there and it now animates when playing. Not sure why I'm seeing something different, but if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments section down below. Other visual changes are small, such as iBooks now being renamed just to Books, and within there they've changed some titles such as All Books to Library and Select to Edit. There's a few others hidden in there such as the privacy icon now being blue instead of grey, but nothing too interesting. What is interesting though is the new privacy icon that Apple has implemented to let you know whenever you're sharing data. The new icon with two people shaking hands will appear in the top bar which is a nice little addition. The app switcher is now much quicker to activate than before, when I swipe up the haptic feedback is almost immediate and the app cards start appearing a lot faster. It's a small change that I think will help a lot of people who are new to the iPhone 10 to open up the app switcher. The biggest change that a lot of people will be happy to see is that messages can now be stored in iCloud. This is something Apple has been talking about for a while now, but it's finally here and it just means you can save more room on your iOS devices with all of the messages and attachments being stored in the cloud. On top of that, it'll sync iMessages across all iOS devices that are on the same iCloud account. Deleting messages or attachments on all of the devices when you delete them on one. And it can easily be toggled on or off within settings, iCloud and messages. Another big change that Animoji lovers will be happy to see is the addition of four new characters iPhone 10 users will gain a new lion emoji, along with a dragon, a skull, and a new bear emoji. So get ready to start receiving animojis again for a few weeks. Within the Apple News app there's some new features, including new personalised stories picked by Siri. This will work kind of like the music for you section in Apple Music. A new spotlight and the ability to search for certain stories, which you think should have been there all along. On top of that, there's an all new business messages feature, which currently includes Hilton, Discover and Lowe's. And finally, there's new health records within the health app to, well, keep track of your health records. Although I can't find this on mine, possibly down to the fact that I'm based in the UK. One feature that a lot of people are waiting to see in iOS is the ability to turn off the speed throttling of their older iPhones. Unfortunately, it's not in this beta just yet, although it will be coming in a future update, along with the ability to check the health of the battery. In beta 1 though at least, Apple has turned off the throttling for now, so a lot of iPhone 6 and 6s users will be seeing their phones responding a lot faster, if not with a shorter battery life. Well that is it for this video, iOS 11.3 beta 1 will be the first of many betas, so I'll make sure to keep you updated with all the latest changes. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.